A poll of 1,048 Americans showed that 47.3% of the respondents prefer to watch the news rather than read or listen to it. Use those results with a 0.01 significance level to test the claim that fewer than half of Americans prefer to watch the news rather than read or listen to it. Use the p-value method. Use the normal distribution as an approximation to the binomial distribution. So, let's take a look at our question here. Okay, the first thing is, is let's take a look at the claim. Now, the claim is saying that we want to test the claim that fewer than half of Americans prefer to watch the news rather than read or listen to it. So, it says that fewer than half. So, fewer meaning less than half is going to represent 0.5. Now, Let's go ahead and then fill in our information now that we can see what the claim is. And we're going to be using the p-value method, so we're not going to be using the critical value method. So we need to identify the following first. What is the sample size? Well, the sample size is 1048, and you can see that's from here. Okay, now we need to know what is the point estimate. Well, the point estimate is given as a percentage because that says 47.3% respondents preferred that. So therefore, write that as a decimal. This is 0 0.473 for our point estimate. Now, what is the value of the proportion P? Well, we know that the claim is going to be fewer than, but the null hypothesis always has the equal sign, and fewer than half, half is 0 0.50. And then Q would be the complement. Well, what's 1 minus 0 0.5? Well, that is 0 0.5. So now we have identified the following given information. Now let's take a look at the requirements. Okay, well, we know that 1,048 were randomly selected. We know that there's a fixed number, 1048, of independent trials. And the requirements is that N times P and then N times Q must be greater than or equal to 5. We know that n is 1048. We multiply it by 0.5, we get 524, which is the same for both of them, and they are greater than or equal to 5, and therefore the three requirements are satisfied. Okay, so now let's take a look at the claim. Now again, the claim says that fewer than half of Americans. So fewer than half means that the proportion is going to be less than 0.5 zero okay and therefore the opposite of the claim would then be that the proportion is greater than or equal to 0 0.50 now let's take a look at using the claim and the opposite of the claim to identify the null in the alternative hypothesis okay so let's go ahead and do that so we know that the null hypothesis always contains the equality sign and then we have the alternative. Therefore, since the equality is in the opposite of the claim, we know that that's going to be P, which is equal to 0 0.50. And therefore, the claim is going to be with the alternative hypothesis. So P is going to be less than 0 0.50. Now let's go ahead and then identify our result here. So we know that the null is that P is going to equal 0 0.50. And then we know that the alternative is going to be P is less than 0 0.50. Let's check our result, and there's our answer. Now we need to identify the test statistic. Before we do, let's determine whether what tail this distribution is going to be. And that tail can be determined by the alternative hypothesis. And since it's pointing to the left, that means we have a left tail test. Okay, and then also, what is the significance level? We can see here the significance level is 0 0.01, so alpha is equal to 0 0.01. Okay, now let's go ahead and then determine what is the test statistic, and here is our formula for the test statistic of Z. So we know that N is the sample size is 1048. We know that the point estimate of the sample is 0 0.473. We know that P is equal to 0 0.50.
and we know that q is equal to 0 0.50. Now let's put this into our formula. So we know the point estimate is 0 0.473, and then we're subtracting p, which is 0 0.50. And then we're going to divide that by the square root of 0 0.50 times 0 0.50 divided by n, which is 1048. And then we're going to round that to two decimal places. So let's go ahead and use our calculator to find that out. 0 0.473 minus 0 0.50. That gives us our numerator. And then we're going to divide that by the square root of parentheses 0 0.50 times 0 0.50. Close the parentheses and then divide it by 1048. And then press enter. And there we have our test statistic. Okay. And so now we need to round that to two decimal places which is negative 1.75 as our test statistic. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Negative 1.75, and there is our result. Now we need to find the p-value. So in order to find the p-value, okay, we're going to draw the curve. So we're not going to use the critical value method, but let's draw the curve for the p-value. So here is our bell curve. We know that the test statistic 1.75 is to the left of 0. So that is our test statistic. And so now we need to determine what is the p-value. Okay, so the p-value is that we need to find the probability of when z is going to be less than negative 1.75. So let's go ahead and use StatCrunch. So in order to find the p-value, we're going to go to Stat, Calculators, and we're going to use the normal calculator because we're using the Z critical value or the Z test statistic. So let's go ahead and select normal. Okay, now we know that's pointing to the left. We're going to put in our test statistic of negative 1.75. Press enter. And then they want us to run it to three decimal places. So it's 0 0.040. So 0 0.040 is our p-value. So 0 0.040. And there is our answer for the p-value. Now we need to state the conclusion. So in order for us to state the conclusion, we need to compare the p-value with the significance level. So the p-value we found to be 0 0.040. And then the significance level was 0 0.01. So we can see here that 0 0.04 is greater than 0 0.01. Now, we reject the null if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha. We fail to reject the null if the p-value is greater than the significance level. Well, we're failed to reject because it's greater than the significance level. So we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so now we need to then decide how do we state the conclusion. Well, we need to go back and look at the original claim. The original claim has a less than. It does not include equality. So that means in our four options for our conclusion, it's either the first or the second one because it says it does not include equality. So the last two does include equality in our claim, so we'd eliminate that. Now, since we did not include the equality and we failed to reject the null, we can eliminate the first one. So therefore, this is going to be our conclusion we're going to say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that followed by the original claim. So to state the conclusion about the null hypothesis, we would say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And remember that when you fail to reject, you would say that there is not 
So we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to, now this is support the claim because we don't have the equality that fewer than half of Americans prefer to watch the news rather than read or listen to it. Let's check our answer and there is our result.